while this is pretty hot, I'm letting it get to about a minute um, as a cool down because you don't want to put piping hot water on your coffee. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, while this is cooling down in here, I'm actually going to just pre-wet the filter. And when you pre-wet the filter, what you're actually doing is making sure that you're rinsing the filter so you get a nice pure taste when you do put your grounds into this into this filter. So I'm actually just going to use this water and just go around and rinse it just like that. Give it a nice good rinse. Perfect. And again, what I do is I just let it sit, it's rinsed and it looks like this is a little bit more wet before it was all this like really lighter color but now you can see it has that wetness to it so um, that's what it looks like and all I do is lift this up a little bit and discard the excess water so that's what's the beauty of when you're working in your kitchen is that you're able to kind of just chuck that water right then and there so if you make coffee in your kitchen Probably many people make coffee in their kitchen, <laughs> but if you do, and when you do, um, you have that sink right there in order to just dispose of your coffee. So um, after I have that now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure out uh, the water in, in here so that I can get to about 300 liters of water. So I wanna find my milliliters. This only goes to about two.